What was your name? Hi, I'm Margaret. Margaret. And it's yeah. wonderful to be in the presence of you and Mary. I've spent hours and hours on your addicted, I think. Yeah, yes, indeed, is, addicted. And I notice to... myself and I actually just stop and say, no, you need to feel something now because you're going to listen to them and they can't give you the answers, what you just said. Exactly. So um, I really have been getting that. So but while anyway. it's okay to listen to what we've got to say, at the end of the day, until you go through the personal emotional experience, you won't know it. Yeah, yeah. You're but right. it is so just, I, I mean, I've already had so much emotion just being in your presence without a word. It's just extraordinary. Anyway, yeah. my question is, I'm surprised that prayer isn't on this list here, be, or unless it sort of encapsulates the list. Because for me, prayer is, um, and you've done, a, you and Mary have done these beautiful segments on faith and prayer from yes. the uh, Solomon, I believe. Uh, yes, pageant correct. Yes, yes. Yep. Um, to me, prayer is where I'm gaining all of this new knowledge and all of this new understanding and all of the courage to feel what I'm afraid to feel and all that. So um, where does prayer fit in is my question. Well, prayer fits in all of them, obviously. There, there is all of these aspects of ourselves that we need to develop can only really be developed by receiving love from God in the end. And the only way in which to receive love from God is to pray as long as we know what prayer is which, is, which is in the end having a heartfelt, passionate desire to receive love from God, isn't it? So, so yes, that is a very powerful transform transformative process. However, um, it's a very simple answer to prayer, whereas the answer to all of these things are far more com complex, aren't they? So the way I feel about prayer is that it fits into every one of these things. It's a bit like most other things that we can choose to do. They fit into one of these five things somewhere. So while I agree with you that prayer, the two most important things in the universe are prayer and faith. Prayer, in other words, the desire to receive love from God as a passionate feeling and faith in that we're going to receive it, the faith that it's possible. Those two things are very, very essential and are the most important things. They are not necessarily the things that we will ask lots of our questions about. Because usually it's other areas of our life that are causing us to not pray. And it's other areas of our life that are causing us to not have faith. And it's other areas of our life that cause us to not ask God for love. And it's other feelings and emotions that we have that we're, that we're trying to shut down that cause us to not allow ourselves to go through those two basic things. And so this is why these questions involving these things are quite important because it breaks down our resistance to prayer. Right? If you have no faith, you will not pray. If you do not use your will to pray, you will not pray. If you don't have a humble heart, you will not receive love. You will not even desire it in, in many cases. If you don't have an openness to feeling and emotion of love, you will not pray. Right? So while prayer affects every one of these things, it's, every, it's knowing more about any of these things that helps break down your resistance to prayer. And the main problem that we have is that we have resistance to prayer, resistance to faith. They are our primary problems. If, if we had no resistance to prayer and no resistance to faith, we would all already be at one with God if, as soon as we desired to have a relationship with God. It's only our resistance to prayer and our resistance to faith that causes us to not be right at this moment at one with God. So if we're going to ask questions, we're best focusing on where our resistances are. Can you see that? What, what is going to help us open up to prayer? What is going to help us open up to faith? And these are the things that we will need to develop in order for those things to occur. Without faith, you will not pray. Without using your will or understanding how your will works, you will not pray. See, the, this, is, this one here, using your will, is very much about your soul. What, what, what is your soul? Like how do you pray? Can you pray from your mind or do you, how, how do you pray? Well, that, that's all about understanding the soul. That's all about understanding the will of the soul. Right? 
So I feel that, still feel that these are the questions that we will focus on because they will help break down your resistance to your relationship with God. If none of us had resistance to our relationship with God, as soon as we had a desire for a relationship with God, we'd have one to the point of at one minute with God. It's only our resistance that causes that process to not occur.